In this video, I show how to repair, clean, and store four iconic Barbie ensembles. Beginning with Cotton Casual, the white and orange ribbons on the dress over the years had unraveled to hair-fine strings, so each had to be replaced, not to mention the dress needing a good cleaning. So as usual, I used the baking soda, peroxide, and dishwashing liquid solution to get the job done, completely saturating the dress. I then rolled the dress in paper towels and put it to the side, skipping bagging it. The paste processed for 30 minutes, then was rinsed off. The dress was then left to dry overnight. The next day, I opened the darts on the princess seam from the top to the middle, then placed new 1 8 inch ribbon where the old ribbons were, then machine stitched them in. The ribbons were then cut and tied into bows like the originals and the dress was given a good steam. And here's Bianca in the dress. The Suburban Shopper, one of my favorites, just required a good cleaning. While the hat, handbag, heels, and telephone were sanitized with Clorox fabric sanitizer, the dress was dingy from a lack of washing, so the paste was used. The paste not only cleans and freshens vintage pieces, but also brightens them, giving them new life. And here's Christy in the ensemble. The Orange Blossom Ensemble, the dirtiest in this grouping, definitely needed cleaning. The paste was not only used on the lace overdress and dress, but also on the trico gloves, ribbon streamers on the bouquet, and the headpiece. The pieces were then allowed to process, then thoroughly rinsed, left in a dry and dark cool space, then steamed. And here's Coffee wearing the ensemble. Finally, the fun and way out sundress was in serious need of repair. The lower back needed restitching where the two seam lines intersect. Here you can see why the seams were broken, because the hip area of the dress was very narrow, more so than a Barbie's hips. Also, the hem needed stitching, and rather than sew on another string hook, a snap closure was added. As for the fraying on the neckline, I left it as is, because there wasn't much that could be done outside of carefully trimming and perhaps using a bit of fabric tack. I wanted to uh, note that there was a large brown spot that was there and that's all gone. And then on the back there was also uh, some staining there and that too is gone. And then of course I'm going to sew the seam line back up and thank God it, uh, the rip did occur on the seam line so that will be an easy fix. And then of course there's some fraying on the straps still and, see uh, some of the dye coming off the dress and uh, so this is to be expected with the type of uh, fabric and the type of uh, the age of the dress and um, it could also be the solution the reaction to the solution um, 
although it is a very mild solution, but I'm not going to um, put much, so much stock into the fact that the solution was the reason. Um, you have to take in consideration that these pieces are over 50 years old. So, so, and it just very well could be that uh, exposure to sun, like of course the dress uh, may not have been washed for quite some time. So, um, and who knows, whatever solution was used on it before, that could be a reason too. So, but I'm just happy that the dress came out um, so clean and bright. And here's Bianca in the dress. To keep my Barbie wardrobe collection clean, free of odors, moth damage, and sun exposure, I store the pieces in resealable 5x7, 7x7, and 6x9 cellophane bags. 